before proceeding one thing i am saying to all the students and all the competitors of government exams that whatever videos i have taught you till date okay go through each and every videos nicely because these teachings what i have taught you till date are from class 6 to 10 each and every sum that I have taught you in a very little manner covers the majority of sums that you face in your school life and also in competition exam those who are preparing for government exams. So don't ignore these methods in this video and also what I have taught in previous videos. Okay, completely go through the different methods because every method will teach you a new thing. Okay, which will be very much helpful to you while preparing for your competition exam or for your school exams. Okay, you will get a solid base for mathematics. So, don't ignore my videos. That thing I have to say to you in a very rigid manner. Hello everyone, my name is Doyamoy Mandal and you are watching my YouTube channel Educative Doyamoy. Before starting my YouTube video, I want to say you something that don't skip the video and watch it watch it thoroughly till the end if you will not watch it thoroughly till the end then you will not understand anything so let's start today's video so today's topic is to find out the q root of 512 by 10 different methods if you have seen my previous video of q root of 512 that was part one in this video it is the second part this video will be the second part of the previous one today's video i will teach you from the sixth method okay so let's start here cube root of 512 is given and what you have to do here cube root of 512 just you have to give here equals to sign now you will give here cube root symbol this thing will be written inside this root okay and now 512 when we do prime factorization then you will get 9 twos means 2 into 2 into 2 means like this 2 will continue up to 9 times 3, 3, 6 and 3, 9 ok so you have got here 9 twos. ok now see now you can easily write here cube root ok this I say cube root now see there are 3 twos. now 2 to the power 3 easily I can write here with this 3 2 and inside this 3 2 there are multiplication symbols ok now this 3 2 I will write 2 to the power 3 similarly this into I given here and this 3 2 again I will write here like this 2 to the power 3 now again this into multiplication symbol I will give here again similarly this 3 2 I will write 2 to the power 3 you must know that 2 to the power 3 means 2 into 2 into 2. Now what I will do here? I will write here equals to symbol and I will give here cube root. Okay. And 2 to the power 3 into 2 to the power 3 into 2 to the power 3. I will write it as 2 to the power 3 plus 3 plus 3. When the bases are same, then power gets added up. Okay. As in these three terms the bases are same so i have added up the powers now see what it comes cube root of 2 to the power 9 when you add this 3 plus 3 plus 3 you get 9 means 2 to the power 9 i have written here and cube root what i have written here i have written as it is in this line okay now 2 to the power 9 I will write here and this 3 will come below this 9 ok with a divide symbol in between 9 and 3. Now this 3 and this 9 cancels now what it comes 2 to the power 3. This 2 to the power 3 means 8 ok. Now what the answer came 8. In the first 5 methods you have seen that 8 answer came in each and every method. Okay, similarly in this sixth method also, I have done by this process and I have got the same answer right. Now coming to the seventh method. So in the seventh method I will do here, just I have written a cube root of 512 and after that I will do here 
give root symbol i will give here and i will write directly 2 to the power 9 okay 2 to the power 9 you will easily get 512 when we will calculate when we will break down this 2 to the power 9 then you will get 512 easily now see here as i have told the breakdown principle of 2 to the power 9 so you break down like this 2 to the power 3 into 2 to the power 3 into 2 to the power 3 i have broke this 2 to the power 9 as 2 to the power 3 into 2 to the power 3 into 2 to the power 3 okay now as i am doing cube root here there are three twos means out of three two one two will come out okay one two has came out now this into i have given here this multiplication symbol i have given here and again similarly what i have done here one two came out here also one two will come out here also one two will come out isn't it okay so one two from here came out and one two from here came out okay in this 2 to the power 3, 2 to the power 3, 2 to the power 3, in each and every turn there are 3 twos. Okay. Out of 3 two, any 1 2 will come out. Any 1 2 will come out. Means here out of 2 to the power 3, there are 3 twos. Means out of 3 two, 2 into 2 into 2. Okay. Here out of 3 twos, any 1 2 came out. Here also 2 to the power 3 means 2 into 2 into 2 means out of this 3 2 any 1 2 came out now this 2 to the power 3 means 2 into 2 into 2 so from this 3 to any 1 2 came out either you can take out this 2 here you can take out this 2 here also you can take out this 2 here as you wish means out of this 3 to any 1 2 you can take out here so as to find out the q root of 512 okay so I've got here 3 to 2 into 2 into 2. Now easily you can say that when you will do multiply, then you will get after multiplication of these three twos, you will get 8 as the answer. So you have seen that in the seventh method I have done like this, and you have got 8 as the answer. Now coming to the eighth method. In this eighth method, I will teach you in a very unique and in a very interesting method and in a very interesting way okay because this eighth method is unique in its way so let's start this cube root of 512 in this eighth method cube root of 512 equals to cube root i have written like this 2 to the power cube into 2 to the power cube into 2 to the power cube means 2 to the power 3 into 2 to the power 3 into 2 to the power 3 okay before proceeding one thing i am saying to all the students and all the competitors of government exams that whatever videos i have taught you till date okay go through each and every videos nicely because these teachings what i have taught you till date are from class 6 to 10 each and every sum that i have taught you in a very detailed manner covers the majority of sums that you face in your school life and also in competition exam those who are preparing for government exams so don't ignore these methods in this video and also what i have taught in previous videos okay completely go through the different methods because every method will teach you a new thing okay which will be very much helpful to you while preparing for your competition exam or for your school for exams okay you will get a solid base for mathematics so don't ignore my videos that thing i have to say you in a very rigid manner now coming to the eighth method now this i have written like this now this thing i can write just like this cube root of 2 to the power 3 into cube root of 2 to the power 3 into cube root of 2 to the power 3 this is a unique concept that many students don't know so i am teaching this concept okay this is a new concept as this concept says that if there are terms inside this cube root and uh, inside this cube root a multiple symbol is there then each and every term separates okay like this okay now what i will do here i will do here 2 to the power 3 by 3 this thing i have taught you in part 1 okay of this video okay go through that video you will understand that why given a 3 by 3 okay again i am not splitting this because the video will be very much longer now see 
टू टू दावर थ्री हेयर आई गोइंग की रूट अगेन सेम थिंग विल बी देयर टू टू दावर थ्री बाय थ्री अगेन सेम थिंग विल बी देयर टू टू दावर थ्री बाय थ्री अब थ्री थ्री कैंसेल्स थ्री थ्री कैंसेल्स ओके मैं नाउ थ्री थ्री कैंसेल मींस यू आर गेटिंग हेयर टू टू दावर वन इनटू टू दावर वन इनटू टू टू दावर वन नाउ टू टू दावर वन मींस टू and this to the power one means two and this to the power one means two and this i will give multiplication symbol and this multiplication symbol as it is now two into two into two just i have omitted the number one this one this one and this one i have omitted in the second line because here nothing is there means already it is understood that one is present here now see this three two you multiply and you get eight as the answer By this method, you are getting here eight as the answer. So let's start the ninth method. Here I have written cube root of five hundred twelve, and after that I write cube root. And now I will do the breaking of five hundred twelve into nine parts. Means I will write two nine times. How I have got two nine times? I have told earlier in my previous method that two will multiply nine times, then you get five hundred twelve, which will be obtained by prime factorization. Nine twos you get by prime factorization. Now I write nine twos. Now we have got here three twos here, three twos here, six. Now three twos here nine. Now what we'll do here? This three two means root of about three. Wait again into I have given here. Now this three two means root of about three. Now this three two means root of about three. Now see here. Now what I will do in the next step? Okay, let's see. I will give here cube root, and I will write here two to the power three into two to the power three into two to the power three whole one. I can easily write here power one because just simple thing I am making you understand that five to the power one. Okay, means like it's just understand in this manner. Five to the one means what? Cube root of five. Cube root of five to the power one means. Cube root of five. Here we have given bracket. You can give here bracket, or you cannot give here bracket. But here, as there are more than one term, so I have given here bracket. Here only one term is there. Means one number or one variable can be okay. So you can give here bracket, or you cannot give here bracket. Okay, don't bother about bracket. Inside the bracket, I give five and uh, power one means cube root of five. Similarly, this full three terms are there. This is the first term. This is the second term. This is the third term. So power means this term only. You are getting this term, okay? As you have understood from this, that bracket five power one means five. You are getting, okay? Similarly, here also you are getting from here this term. So I can easily write this term with power one. Now we write here two to the power three into two to the power three, two to the power three into two to the power three into two to the power three whole. This three will come below one with a divide symbol. Now see what I will do here. I will do here two to the power three whole one by three. Just observe the next step. Two to the power three whole one by three. This one by three gets multiplied with this term, this term, and this term in the power form. Understood? So again, I will give here this multiplication symbol here. Okay. See nicely. Okay, observe here what I am doing here. Okay, now see into this two to the power three means two to the power three whole one by three. Okay, again into two to the power three means two to the power three whole one by three. This each and every term gets multiplied with one by three in the power form. Okay, this multiplication in the power form I will show in the next step. Now see this two to the power Three into one by three. Okay, I can write this three into one by three. Now again, this into I given here. Now again, I can write easily that two to the power three into one by three. Again, I given that into again I can easily write two to the power three into one by three. Okay. Now two to the power one you are getting here. This three three means cancels means three one is three. Okay, here also one you are getting here also one you are getting here you also are getting one. Now two to the power one into one means two. Two to the power one into one means two. Again, two to the power one into one means two. One into one means one, and two to the power one means two. Okay, understood? Now see, 
this three two second will multiply and you will get the answer as eight it goes to eight okay answer so in this ninth method you have seen that with this process a unique process okay where you have got eight as the answer now see here in the tenth method what i am doing here this tenth method is also unique in its own way so let's see but in this tenth method what i will do here 512 i can easily write as 8 square into 8 okay 8 square into 8 okay this will be same as it is cube root here a cube root is there now this i can write easily as 8 square into 8 whole 1 by 3 understood because here nothing is there means 1 is there and after this line i have written this 3 here with the divide symbol between 1 and 3 now 8 square into 8 and here power 1 by 3 is there means i can easily write here 8 square into 1 by 3 this into i'll write here okay now 8 i'll write here okay 8 i've written here and uh, now this 1 by 3 will come as the power of 8 here above 8 in the power of 8 nothing is there means 1 is there now this just write here 1 okay now 8 to the 1 into 1 by 3 okay 8 to the 1 into 1 by 3 if you are unable to understand directly that 8 to the 1 by 3 how it came so i have written in a detailed manner that 8 to the 1 into 1 by 3 8 to the power 2 into 1 by 3 means 8 to the power 2 by 3 okay now into 8 to the power 1 into 1 by 3 means 8 to the power 1 by 3 understood now see now 8 to the power 2 by 3 and 1 by 3 basis are same what is the rule the rule is that when the basis are same then powers gets added up so i will write the powers in the addition form okay now it's the power 3 is the lcm and i get here 2 plus 1 now here i get 3 by 3 3 3 means 8 to the power 1 8 to the power 1 means 8 okay just as 2 to the power 1 means 2 3 to the power 1 means 3 4 to the 1 means 4 similarly 8 to the power 1 means 8 here yeah, nothing is there that means 1 is there you have to assume it okay. so in the 10th method i have done by this process and you are getting the result 8 so i have completed the part 2 of cube root of 512 by 10 different methods with this video there will be two videos of this topic okay part 1 and part 2 part 1 i have released earlier in my youtube channel okay and this will be part 2 I hope that this video will be very much useful to you and I also hope that you have understood it very nicely and I also hope that you will give like to this video and also share it to each and everyone within your contact and also don't forget to give your helpful comment in the comment box and if you are new to my channel then don't forget to subscribe my channel so as to get more and more videos like this. Till then, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.